All right, let's get doing some constructions. I'm going to do my constructions using GeoGebra instead of the normal compass and router, but you'll see I use similar tools. The first thing it asks for is the 45-45 right triangle. So I'm going to just create um, any old line. And I want to create a perpendicular here to make my 45-45 right here. So uh, I'm going to pull out my compass and uh, snap it into place. Now actually I'm going to use uh, the side here of my 45. I'm going to use it as my length. You'll see uh, why. It actually will save us a bit of time. And I'm just going to make a circle uh, from that point in time. Now that makes uh, from this intersection and this one over here, this is the center or midpoint. And so making a perpendicular there would require us to uh, snap this in, uh, extend it past halfway, and then create our arc above and below. So I'm going to do that. I'll run over to the other side and create the intersection there, as well as the intersection down here. So what that allows me to do is to create my perpendicular. That's the midpoint construction, or it creates the perpendicular. So I can take my line, and let me make sure I get it in the right spot. There we go. And uh, nicely, by making the full circle, this distance here and this distance here are equal. And so a segment will complete um, my first construction, which is... Let me see if I can get my points right. There they are. This little triangle here is a 45-45 right triangle. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these stages to create the 30-60-90, but I'm going to show you a little trick. You and I have learned that in a 30-60-90 triangle, the hypotenuse is twice the length of the short leg. So let's pretend here's our short leg. So if I was to create a circle, you won't be quite sure why I'm doing this, but if I make a circle centered here with a radius here, notice that the radius is one of those and another one. In other words, two of these lengths. That would force uh, this length, which is also a radius, to be this length would be double this length and that makes this a 30 60 90 triangle this one right here beautiful stuff the last thing I would say is uh, the other construction asks you for the square root of 2 actually we've already constructed that the square root of 2 is if you think of this as one unit um, in terms of its length let's say this is one whole unit this would also be one whole unit and 1 squared plus 1 squared equals 2, and the square root of 2 means this length is the square root of 2. A nice little addition.